there was a flyer for a five dollar trial class at my uni. Um, it was fun so I kept doing it and then I just didn't stop I guess. <laughs> Hold, hold, hold. Yes! Woo! Slide your top hand down a little. Beautiful. Well done. My name is Ellie Hanuska and I'm a professional circus performer. I hated exercising when I was a teenager. I was yeah, never like very active, I preferred staying inside and reading or playing video games. And so then to pick up this new hobby and go into it at full force where it's very heavily physical and requires a lot of fitness and strength. I wasn't really interested in performing when I first started, it was just kind of something fun. My coaches said that I was nice to watch and that I should maybe try and get some performances. After my first performance I realised I really liked it and then I started to try and get bigger shows and more professional opportunities. Stepping up that training was a real eye-opener and experience of how much it takes to be at that professional performance level. It was really a um, difficult decision because making that step to professional would require a lot of like, sacrifice, a lot of hard work. Human bodies only have so, so much capacity, so it's really important to try and keep everything working really well by like staying hydrated, eating well, sleeping well, training enough to stay at a high level but not exhausting myself to the point where I'm going to get injured and it's dangerous. I have a little ritual before a show, so I usually like to spend about an hour and a half getting my hair and makeup ready. I spend this time kind of thinking about my character, how I want to portray myself on stage. And then I like to spend about 30 to 40 minutes warming up. This just gets my body kind of in the in the zone. I find I can get a lot of my pre-show jitters out. Um, I let all the nervous energy out because when I'm on stage, it's kind of I like to focus more on the character, making the audience taken by my performance rather than thinking too much about what moves I'm doing. I like to take inspiration from siren mythology and like books and movies and history and I'm just really interested in the idea of being alluring and hypnotizing that you could lure someone willingly to their death. The costume I had that made, I really wanted it to look like water ripples and move really well with my body as I move. A few months ago I did a performance at Rod Laver Arena. I was doing aerial hoop and they lifted me up on a crane and I was eight metres in the air and I'm quite terrified of heights. And so there I was spinning around eight metres in the air trying not to fall off. <laughs> and yeah, I just remember like coming down from it and just the adrenaline just pumping through me so much. I had to just sit down for like half an hour afterwards and just lay on the floor like it's probably the biggest one I've done so far. The thing about circus is circus hurts. There's a reason we train so much, even like if we're hurt, we're covered in bruises or we've got some wounds or some scrapes or something we can still push through it and perform sometimes it's just a matter of kind of like 
putting a band-aid on, getting on with it, and then dealing with it after the show. It happens like you get bruises and cuts from rhinestones and you know you get bruises from the hoop or you land on the floor a little bit weird and then your knees bruised or your toes broken or like you know like it's just part of the job and you just kind of have to learn how to work around those kind of things. The circus community has been something I've really enjoyed stepping into. When I was a kid and a teenager, I tried lots of different things like dancing and gymnastics and a couple of kind of different things, but I never really enjoyed them because it was very much like, this is how you have to do things. This is how they have to look. This is how you have to look. And it was very like strict on all the rules and, and aesthetics and everything like that. Whereas with circus, it's more like people are more willing to celebrate like what's unique about you and what you're good at. There's more room to be weird or be silly or and people will love that. Before I started circus and before I started performing, I wasn't really sure of who I was or what I wanted to do. I was studying social work, which I liked enough, but it just didn't really feel like the best. That hard transition from going into being a professional performer it really made me like think about what I want and who I am and what I want to put on the stage. So it's really made me a lot more confident in myself and what I want and who I am and why that matters and is important. It's hard work but it's worth it like when you finish your act and it's gone perfectly and everyone's clapping and you do your curtain call like it's it's all worth it like keep pushing through and think about what really makes you unique and that's what people want to see is they want to see you and your authentic self and ideas on the stage.